um, fifty nine sixty as soon as you uh, before two thirty. Okay, I want to get this done. Bye bye. You've never heard of me. How are you going to react, Alex? Yeah, no, I'm like who you know. I, I'm thinking that I've I have spoken to you and I'm I'm reaching back out probably. Yeah, is it going to drive you crazy if it's a total cold call and you got this? Who is this guy? What is this about? What lawyer? What paperwork? What check? And everything. And then you just and then you call me up. Go ahead, call me back, uh, just like you would if it was the real world. Hi, uh, yeah, I received the voicemail. Is this Claude? Uh, yes, it is. Who's this? Claude, this is Alex. You left me a, a voicemail about some paperwork, but I don't know what you're talking about, man. Neither do I. Maybe I took a turkey pill, a dummy pill this one. Um, Alex, this isn't about real estate or something, is it? Help me out a little here. It is, but but who are you exactly? Uh, you know, my wife said the same thing on our honeymoon. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm an investor, a consultant. I specialize in lease purchasing options and things like that. A lot of people call me for sales advice or marketing. It, this is probably, this isn't about real, you're, are you looking to invest in real estate or do you have a property for sale? Which one is it? Uh, both. I'm always a buyer and a seller, but have, have we, I guess, have we spoken in the past? I don't know. I, I'm sorry. Your name doesn't ring a bell, but tell me about your property. I'll make you an offer. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, time out. Thank you, Alex. Good job. Nice going, man. What happened? Did I engage you in a conversation? All you got to do is say, I'm sorry. I don't remember. I don't know. I make so many phone calls. Maybe I'm a turkey today. I don't know. Maybe it was what, somebody, maybe it was somebody else you thought you were sending it to, and it was a mistake. What's the ultimate? What's the best thing that can happen when you leave a voicemail? You get a call back. You get a call, call back. back. Get What's the rule back. of five? I talk about this every week. What's the rule of five? Come on. Talk to five people. Talk to five people. If you talk to five people, you engage in a nice conversation, not a salesy thing. Hi, the you know the price goes up and uh, we only have two left. Don't sound like a schlocky used car guy. Sound like someone, hey, I'll make you an What's the magic to a prospect's ear that has a property for sale? What's magic to, hey, I'd like to make you an offer. You know, I say that in almost every phone call to people. I'm going to make you an offer, but can I can I ask you a few more questions? I want to learn more about you and your property, and I'll make you an offer. And if we can do business, great. If not, you can fire me. Hang up on me, okay? Is that all? Is that all right, Mr. Bowers? Yeah, thank you, sir. Boom. So that's what you do on a cold call, on a follow up call. Create a sense of urgency. Um, hi, Alex. We spoke last week. I did a little research. I think I got a solution to your problem. I think I might make you, I, I'd like to make you an offer today. Could you call me back before 230-619-206-5960? So whether it's a cold call, a warm call, or a follow-up call, use, use scarcity, you sound like you're, uh, you know them already, uh, feign ignorance, uh, whatever, to get them on the phone. Because if we get them on the phone, are the forces of the universe in our favor? Somebody say yes, please. Yes. All you've got to do to make money is have a good product or service, a solution to people's problems, A. B, you got to do a little grassroots marketing. You've got to speak to a few people. And C, you've got to be a gut salesperson. That means you learn how to ask questions. You learn how to converse with people. Okay, you, you you get a little bit of a, an Academy Award once in a while. You got to be a little bit of a thespian. Okay, we've got to learn to engage people. Guess what happens when we engage people? 